what's up guys today I've got three essential passing drills for you to do to make sure that your passing is top-notch all you'll need is a ball and yourself and that's it so without further ado let's get to them <laughs> Okay, for the first part of the drill, drill 1 of 3, this is just basically the warm up of the whole passing routine and it's just a basic pass, all you gotta do is pass to the wall, as it comes back you pass it back and then you continue it like that. As you can see with me, some of my passes aren't very good, as in not technique wise but the ball is going high, now that is not a good way pass so all you got to do is to prevent that is to just have a forward lean so that's something I have been working on this is old footage of course but basically why I'm, I'm telling you this is because if you want to hit you know good passes to your teammates to impress your coaches your scouts you know all of those people then you have to have that forward lean so you know that your pass will have zip accuracy and it will land to your teammate in an easy way for him to control it now if you're hitting a high pass it's not going to be easy to control so that's what i'm saying incorporate that forward lean and make sure that you add it to your passing because as you can see some of them here not really good there are some that are good but some really aren't but yeah basically for this drill you can do around 50 passes on your right and 50 on your, on your left you can add more if you want to of course that's just the average standard you know having 50 because it's quick but if you want to add you know maybe a hundred and break it down into f into two sets of 50 that's perfect too the most important thing is that you actually do the drill Okay, for the second one, now it's a little bit incorporating more of a first touch element. Like I said, have that forward lean, make sure that you get a good touch out of your feet and then you punch it back into the wall or to your teammate. And then that's basically the standard for the drill. This will help because, you know, in a game there's plenty of times, in fact the majority of the movements, if you are an outfield player, is receiving it on your first touch so to have this is a great thing you know to have it where you have a great touch from a pass is a great thing to have in your locker because you know in games you can be a player that someone can pass to and they can rely on you when they pass to you you're not someone who's gonna have you know a bad touch and it's gonna balloon off of you or something you know so make sure that you practice this you have that first touch you get it out your feet and then you can punch it back into someone else and this drill will definitely help you with that in terms of reps and sets it applies the same applies for from the previous one 50 you can say 50 to 100 on each foot and you can do maybe two to three sets and this will be a great way to work on your passing, to work on your touch, to work on your ball control and overall feel and it's a great drill to do. Okay for the final drill this is basically a, a pass and then you move it to the side. So pass and you take it in and you move it to the side and you make sure that you punch it to the wall, receive the pass and you get it out of your feet but you move it to the right or to the left of you. Now this is a very common action in fullbacks like if you watch a fullback notice that when a pass is received he usually or sh he or she usually takes it in and then they move it to the side because that adds momentum to when you run especially if you cross into and you take it in you can whip in 
a clay cross after you take the touch and you move it to the side so this is a very common passing or yeah it's a common drill that fullbacks will rarely you know uh, like benefit a lot from but for any other outfield player or even a, a goalkeeper it will benefit as well because it will just work on your ball control your passing as well as your fitness so is this a great all-round drill and remember the same applies in terms of reps and sets 50 to 100 each foot two to three sets and yeah you work on that and your passing is gonna be top-notch son